it's the sweetest vegan here and today on the show we are getting up for Valentine's Day today we are making vegan red velvet cupcakes and don't get grossed out but we are using beets instead of red dye food coloring and trust me you can't taste the beets even though I don't really like beets I couldn't taste them but I'm getting ahead of myself let's go ahead and make our cupcakes We're going to start by preheating our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then line your cupcake tin and get all of your ingredients together. Remember a list of the ingredients can be found in the description bar below. We're going to start by whisking together our dry ingredients, all purpose flour, granulated sugar, cocoa powder, baking powder, and salt. Whisk until well combined. Then use a food processor or a chopper, I'm using a chopper because I'm broke, to puree your beets. Then add in your canola oil, lemon juice, and vanilla extract and pulse again until combined. Then add your beet mixture or your wet ingredients to your dry ingredients. And if you need a little bit more moisture like I did, add a little bit of water. Next, you want to go ahead and immediately put your mixture into your cupcake tins and go ahead and bake those for about 18 minutes to about 20 minutes but it depends on your oven remember every oven is different i just always check for doneness mine went for 18 minutes and when the toothpick came out clean i went ahead and took them out for red velvet cupcakes you always need a cream cheese frosting you can click anywhere on the screen or check the description bar below for my vegan <laughs> vegan cream cheese frosting recipe Sorry if you can hear my dog chewing in the background. He's being oh so rude. Um, and then they're done. These came out uber delicious. The cake was like no other vegan cake I've ever had before. Maybe I'll start putting beets in all my cakes. But that is it for today. Bye. And if you missed my last video, click anywhere on the screen to go to my vegan pretzel bites for the Super Bowl. Bye.